Welcome one more. My name is Tavas and uh, today we're trying a new setup. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but new things call for new things. And I actually see that nothing I can move immediately because I was in the camera view. So today we're gonna do something a bit different. What you might wonder? Well, we are first we're gonna adjust the microphone a bit. There you go. We are gonna paint with these. Yeah, these are markers, and we're going to paint a nice little mech. Why? Well, I was curious to see if it works. That's why. So we're going to use a bluish green, a set of sort of brownish khaki, and some orange and gray just to complement things. These are Spectrum Noir. Spectrum Noir. Markers, they are bullet nib, not brush nib. Why this? And this is why this is a test and not an actual thing we're doing because I have no idea how well this is gonna go. But you know what to say? Let's try, see what happens. You're also trying a new camera setup today. Why are we trying a new camera setup today? Well, because I got bored of the old one. I think this one's a bit too pale, actually. That's the problem with this. I'm trying to figure out one is actually dark enough to allow us to paint on some paint without without actually rubbing off the rub off the um, undercoat because these brush nibs are kind of nasty in that regard. It's also worth mentioning that these are bullet nibs, making it very difficult to get into the smaller areas, the finer details. We can't really get into lines this time. But if this works, if this actually turns out well, we are going to... We're actually going to do so with the brush nibs later, and that is... There is haven't arrived yet. And one, I think the brush nibs will have a better chance of getting into these smaller areas. But I don't know. We'll see. One of these interesting ideas. No idea if, how it's going to turn out. But you know. we to try new things every now and then. Otherwise you stagnate. I mean the paint wise I don't think it should be a problem. Because the alcohol ink is surprisingly good at. Well sticking to things. Now, another thing we're going to be able to build trouble with here is, of course, the whole... The, I, can't, I can't really layer. This is the, currently the brightest, lightest tone this is going to have, because I can't really brighten it. And I keep forgetting that, so I actually should have done a different paint to start with. But, I, you know, we dabble and we learn. Yeah, it's not a problem. I can't really get the... I can't get the marker in there. So yeah. It's gonna be interesting. Very, very interesting. To see how this turns out. It's a very light, nougat color. Kinda cute. So yeah. Now... For most people, of course, doing painting with markers on the doing paper. And I'm not going to pretend that these are actually necessarily good for this specific purpose, but I think I can see... I can see a thing we can use as a complement to other things. As with everything, you should never ever just disregard something as not working. Just because... It's an odd idea. Oh, that's very nougaty. There's a problem with these spectrum norm marks. They don't exactly, they aren't, co the caps aren't color true. This one's decent, but a lot of others are not really color true. So it's hard to judge what kind of paint you're actually gonna get out of them. But you know, for intents and purposes, 
so far it's been going pretty good actually. It's kind of fun to paint on the models. I'm probably going to hit all these with some uh, Nolan oil later to try and for one see how they react and for the second see what happens to the um, lines, see if we can actually get some contrast in the lines. I don't know. This is very much an experiment and I have no idea how it's going to end. But you see, I'm going to paint this arm and Let's see how that turns out. I know it's going to be a very short video this week because, well, it is a very short video. But, um, let's see if we can get this one back in again. There's a lot of trying going on right now. There's a lot of things I have no idea how it's going to turn out, so I don't want to fully commit to something that I have no idea. I'm sometimes slightly concerned about the Spectre Noir markers, actually. They're good, but sometimes they do questionable things. This one is almost like, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Because I can't really get in there properly. Now, these are supposed to be waterfast to a certain degree. Not like 100% fully, never gonna dissolve in water, but they are supposed to be fairly... I mean, it's not looking bad. I can see if you just get black inks on that one, it could actually look decent. Now, beyond that, I don't know. Is that a good idea? Probably not. But, you know... I also guess a brush nib would be a lot better for this because they are a bit more flexible. The wood nibs are great for painting tiny details because they are very stiff. But here they are basically rubbing. I'm afraid to actually hurt them. That is how stiff they are. But we're going to see if we can do some, some ever so slight layering effect here. I have no clue how that's going to work, but, well, as I said, let's try. It's not the worst I've seen so far. Oh, that poor nib. We're doing ugly things to that nib. I know they have such a dark... I don't know why they do that. They started doing that lately. They didn't do it before, but now nowadays they just do that. And I have no idea as to why. Now the good thing with alcohol inks are they don't react to each other overly much. A little bit, but not overly much. You can actually apply a second layer over the first layer. Giving you some control over layering at least. But beyond that, you have very little control. Now, let's see if we can gently go in and darken the centers of these. Pretending we're working with pen, some paper, the regular pen and paper. Because then this is what we'll be doing. We'll be going like this. See, you can't highlight out of this thing because we can't add a lighter color to a darker color. We have to do it in the reverse. Hmm. Interesting. We're also gonna paint the cockpit because well it's a nice clean area to paint. I'm gonna paint that orange because I like the color. Again, you have an interesting amount of control with this. But there's not really the regular process and say getting into the little tight, tight nooks and crannies are difficult to say the least. 
And I did think this was gonna be a brighter orange. I honestly thought it was gonna be much, because if you look at the cap, it's a very light cap. And I'm not exactly sure that this matches particularly well. But yeah, it is what it is. At least the other two should be darker in theory. Again, though, that is not always the case. Sometimes it's. Sometimes it's just as dark. Sometimes it's actually darker. I have a few ones that are supposed to be lighter that are much, much darker in tone for some reason. Oh well. I'm going to call this experiment semi-successful, enough that I'm actually going to try this with uh, brush nibs later on. Right, final test. Let's see how well it handles some moisture in the form of I think null oil, if I can find it. I have misplaced my null oil. This is not good. Yeah, now the look you see my desk, it's a mess, but that is not the sense I should have misplaced my null oil. I had it recently. Ah, there you go. Found it. Oh, this could be so interesting because this is not remotely dry yet. It's gonna be interesting. My prediction in this case, it's gonna fail horribly. But I don't know. We're gonna try. Oh dear. Three, two, one. Oh, I have no idea how this is gonna work. This actually, this isn't looking entirely bad actually. Just get a bit of the coffee staining and I think it should be pretty okay actually. The, the um, alcohol markers are slightly hydrophobic, it seems, so they push, really push it away. Hmm. Would you look at that? This was kind of fun, actually. Suck up some of the excess and see if we can. Hmm? You're not going to get any bright results this way, but it's actually looking really nice. I will call this successful. So, if you should happen to have alcohol markers with no paints laying around. That seems to be a fully functional painting technique. Oh, I just hit the camera. Sorry. And we're going to come back to this for a full scale test once I get the brush markers because this turned out surprisingly well. I'm fundamentally surprised. But that's it for now. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do. Do play fair. Bye.